When it comes to talks about the jab, because immediately everybody minds go hard, they hear cardiac arrest, died at 54, you think jab now, right? Like that's where everybody's just mind is yes. going now, right? Here's the thing as well. I have family members that I love dearly who took it. Right. You probably do as well. Right. right? So when we talk about these things, when we talk about, you know, jab and people passing away, when we talk about it, I don't want us to lose our humanity and how we talk about it as well. That's a fact. Okay. Because like, that's a lose, lose situation for us too. No matter, Absolutely. even if you didn't take it, I didn't take it, but I have family members, like I said, who I love dearly, who took it. Absolutely. And I'd be devastated if something was to happen. You get what I'm saying? You probably in your family, somebody probably very close to you as well. You probably had to take it. So we're not trying to talk about it in, in, that, a, capacity. in that capacity. But that's, that's the reason we here at Urban X have always treaded lightly as we speak about it, because we, what what we don't want to do is is put ourselves, isolate ourselves from our brothers and sisters. We have been fortunate enough to be in a situation where we didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? Through either your training or understanding of you know these things, or you know working for yourself or having a little bit more leverage. So we never want to come out as if like. Nah, 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 because that doesn't benefit any of us right. in the grand scheme of things. We also can't always go extreme. See, that's the problem with being a conspiracy theorist. Everything has to be a conspiracy, and that's not the case. I don't know what her diet was like. Yeah. I don't know what kind of drugs she may or may not have been on. I don't know what kind of medication she was on, which could cause side effects that lead to this. Mm -hmm. So let's not just automatically, yeah. for the sake of, uh, you know, getting a conversation out saying it was the jab. Yeah. You know, because that's what I'm hearing every time. And I'm like, yo, Shorty, this thing was 72 years old. Uh, his heart probably just gave out. So let's not. And that's what happened to me. I went from being an extremist to a realist. So sometimes you got to dial mm -hmm. your conspiracy theory back a little bit and pick and choose when to throw your shoulder out and when not and process things. This is why I say I process things straight down the middle first. If it all lines up, I leave it there. I, I'm good with that. If I begin to process information and it don't line up, yeah. now I get an opportunity to go, hmm, why isn't this lining up? And then you pursue the avenue of going down or burrowing down the rabbit hole, as we say. So for the time being, she passed away. Her dad was mm -hmm. iconic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which led to a... No, he was iconic. I get it. I get it. No, he was iconic, uh, you know, for whatever reasons, you know. And um, I, I loved Elvis Presley as a kid. Yeah, and that always bugged me out. No, I did not know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just was, you know, watching him, you know, do his thing. He was cool. And, you know, you're watching TV until my uncle told me mm -hmm. what he said about black people. And from that moment on, I hated him. Mm. Because I, even as a child, I was on my militant mm. shit. You know, but, but if you don't know, you don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. Now, now, <clears throat> on the other side, there was a Air Force football player, 21 years old. He died. Mm. 21 on his way to class. After that, I saw reports of the Pentagon uh, dropping the mandate for the jab for troops. Mm. Is there a coincidence there? Mm, could be. Could 21 be. years old. 21 years now, old. Now, that's enough for you to go. Now, that makes zero sense. Right. A 21-year-old's mm. heart should be so strong. You know what mm. I mean? And, and his well-being, you're in the military, which means you passed a certain level of protocols mm. to be in the military, mm -hmm. and your heart goes out, now something ain't right. Right. Now, that makes sense. Lisa Presley, I, like I said, I don't know what kind of life, but she's been in Hollywood a long time. Mm -hmm. They do drugs. They party. Uh, it, it's a lot going on, and it could be a byproduct of doing cocaine. Also, <clears throat> I saw the CEO of Moderna say that they have <clears throat> created an mRNA uh, jab for heart failure. So now they want to give you heart failure. <clears throat> And then they want to come behind it because they see an opportunity yeah. to cure the situation. Yeah. Crazy. Somebody said we also can't <clears throat> normalize this issue either. Absolutely not. You're right. No. no. And, 
And I think we're about to start. I think we're about to go through something like really, really crazy in the next couple of years. Yes. Yes. Just you know, what I'm it's saying? gonna be so overwhelming. Yeah, like that point, they like, just can't, can't ignore hide it. it. You can't ignore it. No that more. even your own government, which they're starting to do now. Yeah. But the mainstream media is doing their best to still keep it concealed because legitimate doctors mm-hmm. all over the country are having these press conferences saying, "Please stop. Please stop administering this." Please stop making this stuff available. And on the other hand, you got the government saying, "Hey, man, mm-hmm. did you get did you get boosted up? Mm-hmm. This and that." So it is a war. This information, like I said, would usually take forty to fifty years to come out. They're gonna call this age the dumb age. Mm. I was telling you that earlier. Yeah. When we reflect back on, remember the dumb ages yeah. when everything, everybody was just doing dumb things. We're gonna see something. That when we really look at this whole period, it's just gonna be like it, that. That was dumb, mm-hmm. you know, for us to follow these things. But now we're in the quickening, so this information is readily available for you. The government can't have it both ways. You can't give us a, a, a quantum leap in information because this is an information war. Yes, that's why you you on YouTube mm-hmm. and all of these platforms are free. Or what appears to be free because they're collecting all of your information and selling it to other companies. Mm -hmm. Red Pill was on just an hour before we got on really getting down. Mm -hmm. Shout out Red Pill. uh, Breaking the intricacies down of trillion dollar companies. Just gathering your information. Gathering your behaviors. Gathering the things that you like. Trying to tap into the human experience as much as possible. 